Hi, my name is Christina, and I have been in the church all my life. My mom was a Christian and was just an amazing person, uh, a role model for me in, in her faith with God. Uh, my father was not a Christian and was definitely living a lifestyle that um, was the opposite of probably um, what God was calling us to live. And so I, I think that there was always that tension and growing up um, always wishing that my dad um, was different and that my dad followed Christ. And so, uh, so I, I think because of that, I always leaned more heavily on God and, and he was my heavenly father. And, and I feel like my faith was very real because of that. Uh, and then, amazingly, whenever I was in high school, my dad came to Christ. And um, that was definitely a defining moment for me because this was something where I saw what his life was like before and I saw what his life was like afterwards and I understood a miracle and, and I knew what God could do because, um, because I had seen and I experienced it in my own home. I think very uh, at a young age or even whenever I was in high school I had a desire to serve the Lord and really felt like I would be doing something in ministry. I didn't really know what that was. I felt called to working with high school age students which I, I think probably led me into education and of course led me to Bible college where I met Jeff and you know then we spent the next 10, 12 years of our married life working with high school students. And so I don't think that I ever experienced doubt. Um, it wasn't until six years ago that, um, that Carter was born. He was actually three months early and, um, and it was just a terrifying time. Uh, I remember as they wheeled me back uh, for the operation, um, I remember thinking and not praying. I felt very helpless and I thought, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I say right now or what I don't say, so he's either going to live or he's going to die. And everything will either be okay or it won't be okay, but I really can't control it. And, and in that moment, I felt like God had already decided what would happen. And so it was futile for me to even try to change his mind or, or anything like that. In, in the days afterwards, where in the weeks afterwards, um, where we would go to the hospital, and some days were good days, and some days were really bad days, and we don't know if we'll make it through the night, we don't know, T today's a good day. And I think that in that time, again, I don't ever remember praying. I remember feeling like it just didn't matter my prayers didn't matter. And then in that season, because we, I spent so much time at the hospital while he was in the NICU, and then when he was finally able to come home, he wasn't able to be in public. And so um, there was just a whole season where I wasn't in church and I wasn't surrounding myself uh, with other believers. And I, I just began to, to go deeper and deeper into my season of, of doubt and just questioning whether or not God actually exists. Whenever I think back to it, it I just remember darkness and um, feeling like I never wanted to, I never want to go back there again. As a pastor's wife, um, I, I think that there was, in, in my mind, I felt like I had to just pretend that everything was okay <laughs> and pretend that, um, that I had everything together and that there was definitely no doubt in my life. And, um, and then, so it was a lot of going through the motions, showing up every Sunday and Wednesday and um, just putting on the face that I felt like people expected from me and saying the right things and doing what I was supposed to do, but really the whole time questioning everything that was happening. And at the same time, I think it was probably really good for me because I was surrounding myself with other believers and I was putting myself in places where um, worship was happening. And so even though I myself um, was not participating spiritually in the worship, I, I feel like God was surrounding me with His Spirit and that's really what I needed. I, I think I've definitely learned that God is way bigger than anything that I can comprehend. And that's actually one of the things that, uh, that I had to realize 
was that my brain cannot truly comprehend who God is. And um, on the days that I'm struggling, I have to remind myself, you know, this is the evidence. These are the ways in my life that I've seen God work so I can see the evidence of Him. It's just that on the day-to-day -day basis, sometimes my brain is not um, enough to comprehend who He is and what He's done. And so, uh, so I've definitely learned that, and, um, and I've learned that, that He's got this. These experiences are just making my relationship with Him stronger. I'm Christina, and God is helping me rise above my doubts.